this is going to be a two part video where in the first part i'll discuss the way of taking reference in maya and in the second part we are going to use that reference and animate with it so no big deal first you choose a reference either you can download it as per your need or you can shoot reference do whatever you think best as per your shorts demand for this tutorial i am going to use this video of a guy jumping on a place very weird video anyway it's okay as it is very simple animation and uh, no one's get hurt now we can import this video reference into maya so that it becomes easier to analyze and also can be used side by side with our animation before that we have to make sure that this video is in dot mov format because maya don't use any other kinds of video unless it is dot mov file so you can right click on it and go to properties and as we can see this is dot mp4 it's not mov file so we have to convert it now to convert it you can use uh, this quick time player or you can use any other converter any uh, video editing software anything so i'll export it from here and vertical jump um, you can change it from any other file format where is quick time movie movie to quick time movie so now it is in dot mov format i have to export it jump edit all right save once done you can close this and now if we check you can see this is dot mov file now we are going to use this folder in a uh, file in maya before that let me show you one more uh, trick that uh, works also so you can open this one this one anything let it just open this one in quick time open in quick time i'm using quick time here but you can also use any video editing software or any converter so file export i'm going to change this from movie to image sequence movie to image sequence then i'll create one folder image sequence all right inside this folder let's open here copy that and paste that link here all right this is the folder and now i'll no problem i can just keep it like that uh, movie to image sequence let's select this one more time and then save it will export as an image sequence i'm using this both technique because both technique works you can either use a image sequence or a moe file so this is done okay and you can see now these image sequences images so we can use these images into maya to um, get the action done my image sequence and video both are ready now i can jump into maya there are two ways to import a video into maya you can use an image plane or you can create a polygonal plane and use that video as a texture in both the cases there are advantages and disadvantages so use and check what works best for you first let's get to know the process using image plane all right so in the viewport options click on view image plane import image choose the image sequence folder that we have already created before then select the first image and click open now you can see the image appeared in the viewport but it's a single image to activate image sequence inside attributed image plane shape one tab turn the use image sequence checkbox on that will tell maya to use the whole sequence now you can scrub through the timeline and see the video playing same technique will be used for video file go to view choose import movie choose the file and it will play automatically you can play with some of the attributes to moving the plane around to adjust as per your need all right now let's see how we can use a polygon to do so to create a polygon plane go to create polygon primitives plane once clicked you will get a square plane 
If your mouse cursor changes, just drag on the grid pressing shift. It will create a plane for you. Now without thinking too much, we have to change the material and add a texture file. In this case, our image sequence. Select the plane, right click and hold, drag down to assign new material. It will open up a new dialog box. Choose Lambert. You can choose anything but choose Lambert here. On the attribute data, you might see a tab Lambert with a number. It can be anything but don't use Lambert 1. Now we have to add a texture image. So click on the checker box beside color. Click on the 2D texture and choose file. Now again on the attribute editor, select this folder beside image name. Choose the first file from the image sequence and hit open. Press 6 in Maya and you will see the texture. If your reference seems distorted, you can just scale the square as desired. Although this is not a correct way to fix texture distortion, but who cares, this is just a reference. Anyway, this is going to be deleted later. Now we just have to turn on the image sequence option and you are good to go. Now let's go through this process one more time with video file. So create polygon primitives plane. Shift drag down. Plane has been created. Now, now right click on it, assign new material. We'll choose Lambert. Go into the checker box beside color, click on it. This time we will choose movie as we are importing a movie file. Click on this folder and choose the file. Open. You will see the file. Now this is distorted. We can scale it. Simple. Now go to color option box and go click on use image sequence. That will allow this video to go in image sequence. That is the process to bring a reference into Maya. That's it for the first part. Have fun and we will meet again on part 2. Thanks.